Hello. Hey, everyone. Welcome to an another mini series. KDA Life. Episode 2. Two. Um, this is a different, I guess this is kind of more like a topic series. Uh, today, we now that things are going to be starting to reopen from this uh, virus, we want to just kind of chit chat about some things that are kind of close to us and that we have we enjoy going to so what did we come across today well you came across well right? i came, well yeah i oh. came across well it. where where did it show up because you're the one who told me about it i read an article about uh possible changes to uh hershey park and Knobles. That may be coming up when they reopen. Yeah. These are only possibilities. Nothing is set in stone yet. Um, but I wrote down um, some of what is being discussed. Okay. So they're talking about, um, you know, how showing up to the gate to buy tickets might not be an option anymore. Um, you might have to. Um, they talked about the possibility of. Requiring reservations that have to be made in advance. Um, I guess they're trying to, you know, keep track of how many people are in the park. You know, not as many. And that way, the the line, there's no crowding in the lines. And, you know, no you can keep, you know, a good amount of social distancing if there's not as many people uh, in the park, I guess. And I uh, think they want to also eliminate the hand-to-hand -hand contact or person-to-person -person contact. Yeah, which is why they are talking about, you know, not being able to show up to the gate. Um, so before I go any further with that, I'm wondering how that how that's going to work with... He went to some Hershey Bears games, uh, and some of those games you won free tickets to Hershey Park. So I'm wondering how that's going to work. Um... Well, I'm thinking they, they expire the end of July, right? Well, yeah, but I think what they're going to do is they're going to extend it. I don't know. My personal uh, idea that I'm thinking in my head is that they'll extend it uh, further, depending on when they can open. I think maybe they'll extend it into like maybe August and you know September, because I mean it's something that's out of, out of everyone's control. Yeah, I mean, I'm, me personally, I am not a huge fan of Hershey Park anyway, just because I don't like a lot of crowds. I don't like having to stand in a long line for a ride that's done in like 30 seconds. Like that, it's, I had a lot of fun when we went last year, but you know, when I get more excited to go to Knoebels. I get more excited to go to baseball games and stuff. So Hershey Park's not necessarily my thing. But because of the free tickets, you know, I'm willing to go for the kids so that they can have some fun and you can have some fun. And I end up having fun. It's just, you know, I don't care if we go or not. That's where... <laughs> well, the big difference is, too, is is, is uh, baseball games. Yeah. If these parks are, are going to make these changes... What's baseball games going to do to make changes? Because it's going to be kind of similar. You're sitting right next to somebody in, in, in the stands. You know, there's crowds at baseball games. When this thing goes green and sporting events and races are, can go back to doing what they're supposed to be doing, how is that all going to work? I think it's just going to be based on... on the organization and it's going to be based on uh, like the racetrack and, and stuff like that to make uh, possible changes to what if they need to make. Yeah. Well, see now, I don't mind not sitting close to people at a baseball game because I prefer the end seats anyway. I take up a little bit more room than the average guest, if you will. And I prefer the end seat because then I'm only smooshing up against him and not a complete stranger. So if I really don't have to be surrounded by other people, then that's fine by me. <laughs> I'm still going to enjoy the game. So um, now if 
they make it mandatory to wear a mask to go to a baseball game, I'm staying home. Uh, anywhere out in the open where you have an opportunity to get fresh air that we are possibly, if we were to be told it's mandatory, then I'm sorry. I work seven, sometimes eight hours a day in a mask. I'm done with it. And I... I don't want to go somewhere on my free time that's supposed to be leisurely and enjoyable and have to suffocate in a mask. That's what I, that's my experience in a mask. I have claustrophobia and, uh, you know, after a few hours I start getting lightheaded and after seven hours I get headaches. So it's not working for me. <laughs> well, I mean, these are just, uh, talks. They're just, they they're just I mean, talks, but you I know. know Disney Springs down in Florida is reopening, and they are required to do mask, uh, temperature checks, and all that. I haven't heard anything like that. I mean, I haven't heard any about any temperature checks up here um, other than maybe possibly masks. I am okay with temperature checks. I am okay with hand sanitizing stations every five feet, whatever. You know, I more cleaning... Is never a bad thing, <laughs> especially when you got a lot of like a lot of people in one area. But anyway, moving on. The uh, second thing is possibly requiring reservations made in advance. So something that I read about, uh, I know at least Hershey Park um, is talking about, um, you know, doing it, getting reservations done like online. Uh, and making reservations for not just the park, but for the rides, too. Yeah, they also were talking about possibly maybe setting reservations, maybe like certain times that you can do rides. Yeah. So they can eliminate the crowds that's standing in line to keep the social distancing. Yeah. Um, another thing, which is kind of cool, um, is the touchless hand sanitizers. This is another idea they had, which... You know, that's not a big deal. I can say I can do a little extra sanitizing and hand washing. That, that doesn't bother me at all. Um, here's a quote from the article. Um, it says, while this list isn't exhaustive, it provides a broad landscape of the types of steps Hershey Park is prepared to implement to ensure the safety of our guests, team members, and community. So, like I said... This, this isn't anything that's set in stone. These are just ideas that are floating around that they're talking about. Um, uh, going along with that, uh, similar measures are being discussed at Knoebels. Yes. Um, um, talking about online purchases of wristbands and no more tickets. So they're talking about maybe for the time being possibly doing away with tickets um, just because they don't want that uh, person to person hand, contact, yeah, hand, to hand. Hand, hand hand contact, yeah, uh, and keep you know, uh, the social distancing. Um, was there more to that? Oh, yeah, um, a limited number of people in the park, yeah, and lim yeah, so I don't know how they would do that. Um, you know, I one thing I really enjoy about Knobles is you're free to go, you're free mm -hmm. to come and go as you please, and you're free to. That's part of what makes it really enjoyable for me and pref preferable over Hershey Park. Well, they have a lot of, like, I really like a lot of the rides at Knoebels. Like, those, I, I, there's only a handful of rides that I actually ride at, Her at Hershey and I just, you know, it's too much for me. But I like Knoebels. I like there's certain spots that I look forward to and, you know... Trying to get the brass ring on the carousel, you know those things. There's rides that just really are really super enjoyable for me, and the kids can do. You know, we can all do it together as a family, and I don't know. I, I just... think my my thing is is like I said I, if you ever been to Knobles, you know what we're talking about. You just go in, mm -hmm. do whatever you you know what you like. You know, it's a free park. Um, but the only thing, only two things that I could think of is on how they could limit uh, people is either put a fence up 
around the park, especially where the where the parking lot and the picnic tables are. Put maybe some type of fence, or they can maybe, you know, worst case scenario, start charging uh, and limit it kind of that way. I that's just what how I'm thinking that they might do. I don't really know for sure. I don't. This is just uh, just in talks right now of how of uh, steps that they might take. Yeah. So anytime, you know, there's going to be throughout the next few months, you know, as the reopening processes keep going and furthering, you know, we've learned so far in the last two months that every week rules change and things change, you know, and you don't really know what's going to be coming. You know, you're not really sure. Everything seems to change from week to week. So, um, you know, there's, you know, they're still in the the discussing stages right now. So there's nothing to really freak out about yet. Um, You know, some of the ideas that they're talking about, I'm not a super fan of. um, But it's not anything that has happened yet or is set in stone. So there's nothing to be really um, upset about until... You know, it would actually happen, and it but. might, and it might not even last. You know, it might yeah. just be something to get us through the first few months of this, or or, or whatever. And whenever they feel comfortable, then maybe they will uh, ease those ideas that they might have a little bit. So. Yeah, because twenty twenty one might be a whole different year than than this year has. You know, yeah. I mean, twenty nineteen was way different yeah. than this year. Was so, I you know I don't think I don't much like the actual virus itself. I don't think this is gonna last forever. I don't think these new rules are gonna be in place forever. I think they're gonna wait until this thing is completely gone, and you know I think it's possible put it that way that they'll wait until everything is completely gone and there's no more cases or deaths or anything and once they see that then in my opinion that would be a good time to set everything completely back to normal you know I think there's a lot of you know questioning floating around the air of whether or not there will be a second wave and I think that's why when they reopen they're trying to put all these new things in place so that it doesn't happen again and I understand that, um, but for me, anywhere that I'm going to be told I have to wear a mask, if that were to be the case, that's not even a full sentence, <laughs> if that ends up being the case, um, then I won't be participating in it, just just because I work, we work where you have to wear one all day, and... I'm not going to lie. It is not comfortable. So if I, you know, if it's something that's supposed to be my leisure time and time to, to, you know, just relax and enjoy myself, I want to do it with full (laughs) move, full movement, full breathability. And, you know, because let me tell you something, when I get out to the car at night and I take that mask off, man, it's like fresh air. Well, yeah, it's a literal breath of fresh air because I've been breathing in my own, you know, I can tell you for the last three hours what I ate for lunch. (laughs) (laughs) You know, that's not normal. (laughs) But, um, you know, I, but I get it, you know, we have to wear them and so we do. We follow the rules and that's that, but I'm not doing that on my leisure time. If that, if that's what it comes to. Yeah. um, (laughs) Well, my, my thing is, is, is the guests like the little ones it's gonna be hard i think to keep the kid to try to keep kids to wear a mask yeah all day through a park when it's like 90 degrees out you know i understand why they're doing it and you know i respect them for wanting to keep all of us safe you know that is a number one priority when, when you have a business like that is to keep everyone safe but you know i just you know, I think it's going to be hard at first, at least not just for the little ones, but I think for everybody, 
It's going to yeah. be hard because there's some people out there that's like absolutely like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to wear a mask. I'm never going to wear a mask. You can't make me. Well, you know, you know, unfortunately, this is the, you know, time that we live in. You know, so. Talk about me. No, no, but there's people out there that I know that... Oh, that even now, you know, even now well, we even have saying. some customers that are like... Mm. Even now, people don't want to wear one. And so I'm when like, we get to get green, it, but... when we get to green, you know, no, there's not a lot of people that's, that's they're going to fight and refuse. And I'm, you know, I respect and understand why these amusement parks and why these other places um, put that into effect. Because they want to keep everyone safe. Yeah. It's a safety precaution. Sometimes it's hard to see it that way. Um, but it is a safety precaution. We just have to. Unfortunately we have to respect that. You know. So hopefully that these parks won't keep that f for too long. And once the numbers are completely down. And they stay down. Then maybe they'll go back to where things were. But. Yeah. yeah. So we just wanted to share that stuff with you today. Yeah, because it really, you know, it it sparked a whole discussion, mm -hmm. and you know, we thought, hey, anytime we have a discussion like this, we kind of want to share it. Yeah, because see you know, what you guys think. How I mean, like I said, nothing is set in stone yet. They're still just talking about it, but you know, but how just, would you feel if those do become the rules? You know, how would that make you feel? And if it's some some place like if you love to go to Hershey Park, you love to go to Knobles. It's something to keep uh, in mind when they do reopen that the precautions that they are going to be taking. Yep. So yeah. we're not trying to make anybody afraid of anything. Mm -mm. We are just no. trying to let you know that things are being talked about. And, you know, it definitely sparked a conversation between us. So I'm sure, you know, mm -hmm. if you guys love one or both of those places, it might, you know, get you guys to talk about something. And we can, you can find happiness in whatever you do. So, you know, even wearing a mask, there's ways that you can make it fun. Ways that you can enjoy it. So, just kind of think of the positive in it. And just try and think that it's not going to last forever. It's not. It's not right. going to last forever. So. You're right. But I guess that is all the discussion we have. Um. For today. For today. That, that's the topic that we got into tonight. <laughs> um, and there will be a new topic some next time, whatever that may be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. All right. Hope join you us. enjoy it. And uh, join us on our next episode and see where life takes us. That's right. 